this is Anjali and today I'm gonna um, teach you how to make a flatbread that's a Indian flatbread it's called chapati as well and for the chapati or flatbread you just need a um, all-purpose flowers or today I'm using uh, multigrain flowers but you can use all-purpose flour you can use any chapati flowers here so uh, for this I have a two cup of flowers here and I have a normal water, tap water, and I have a avocado oil here, but you can use any kind of vegetables, you oil or uh, olive oil as well. Okay, let's start it. So you need a water as you required for the chapati. We need a um, soft dough, not too loose, um, not too tight, but uh, we need a soft dough for that. And if you want to know how to make a more a recipe for the flat bread with the same dough, let me know in the comments. So I can show you the more flat bread recipe with the same dough. You know, you can make a stuffed bread. You can put the potato in it. You can put the cheese in it. You know, different kind of um, stuff you can stuff in the flat bread and you can enjoy the flat bread. So let me know. see it just need a you know five minutes to make a dough and after your dough is ready you have to leave the dough for the 10 minutes for the rest so it's absorb all the water You know, I'm just getting together all the flour like this. And you can see it's a little tight, but we don't need that much tight dough. And we just need a soft dough. Like this. Okay, we don't need to knead too much for this dough. We just leave it for the 10 minutes and you can see this is not too tight, too loose. It's a soft dough. And you can just uh, pour a 2-3 drop oil, you know, on it like this. And cover it with the towel or you know plate for 10 minutes this is your dough okay after 10 minutes of resting let's see how our dough looks like okay it just um, need uh, like 20 second after that just Make sure it looks like smooth. We uh, we need a smooth um, dough ball here. This flat bread doesn't need too much kneading. That's the good things for that. You know, you can just make it in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And for the flat bread, uh, we required um, as how big you want, you know, how small you want. Flat bread is totally depend on you guys. Uh, I'm making like a medium size flat bread here. You know, you can just roll it around and make a like a this kind of patty kind of um, dough. Same with the other one. You know, take a small dough and make a ball like this. And roll it around between your, you know, palm, this palm area and this one. Roll it around and flat with your palm like this. So it's like a small patty. So just so after making all that ball uh, patty of the dough, you just need one and cover rest of the dough here. 
and just dip it in the dry flour and X is the extra flour here and then for the making flatbread you need a uh, this kind of rolling pin and you can roll on the countertop too I have that marble uh, base but you can roll on the clean uh, mar um, on the countertop too so that's not a big deal so now to make the flatbread just uh, not to do not pressure on your dough just uh, on the light hand um, roll the dough like this and it's not needs to be perfect so see that's the flatbread to cook the flatbread we need a skillet you can get any kind of flat skillet and I put that skillet um, on a medium heat and it's need a little bit hot to put before you put your flatbread but not too hot so the medium heat is perfect so I put it like this on the skillet and just you have to wait for uh, like 10 seconds to flip After 10 seconds, you flip the flatbread. I'm using my hands because I'm used to, but um, you used thorn or something, you know, to flip your bread. Do not burn yourself. And then flip it again. You can lower the heat here. I'm lowering on the very low. And see. All right. For puffing bread, I'm going to hide the heat and move the skillet here and put that flat bread direct on the fire. And I'm using tong here. So this is the result we got. Um, I put a little bit of butter on it and it's ready to eat. Enjoy. Thank you for watching.